Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at the uniform and equipment of a private in the Home Guard, uh, circa late in 1942, specifically a member of the 5th Nottinghamshire, Daybrook and Bestwood Battalion. The basic uniform and equipment seen here consists of standard issue battle dress, Home Guard web equipment, helmet, respirator and so on. Starting with the weapon carried, this is the M1917 Enfield rifle, an American derivative of the British pattern 1914, manufactured in 30-06 calibre. Weapons used by the Home Guard were often marked with red paint if they were non-standard US calibre, and you can still see remnants of this red paint on the nose cap here. Next, starting at the top and working down, uh, we have the standard British Mark II helmet with camouflage in the form of a hessian cover, a helmet net and scrim. Next, the Mark VI respirator haversack is worn at the alert on the chest, and the contents can be seen here. From left to right, top to bottom, there are the anti-gas eye shields, anti-dimming outfit, anti-gas ointment, cotton waste, and to the right of the haversack, the general service respirator, this example being a Mark V face piece fitted with the E6 filter. Next, we have the Home Guard issue leather belt and ammunition pouches. These pouches are supported by standard 1937 pattern braces, and they carry 30-06 ammunition in chargers for the M1917 rifle. On the back, the Home Guard haversack is carried, uh, and under the flap you can see the folded gas cape. The rest of the contents are derived from regulations of the time. And we'll go th through them in order now. Many were civilian items provided by the uh, individual in question. Uh, first off, we have a mess tin and enamel mug. Then a knife, fork and spoon set. Uh, these are civilian, civilian items. The list includes rations, but does not specify what, so we've included a tin of corned beef here. Next we have the shaving kit, including mirror, soap, razor and brush. Uh, a towel and a bar of soap is also carried. The towel here is a CC41 marked example. A brush and a comb. A spare pair of socks. And finally, toothpaste and toothbrush. While these aren't included in the list, certainly something I would want to have with me, so they've been included for completeness's sake. Moving down the uniform, uh, on the left hip, the bayonet for the M1917 is carried in a 1939 pattern leather frog. Uh, and this view also shows the Home Guard issue belt slider, which allowed 1937 pattern braces to be worn with the leather belt. On the right hip, the standard issue enamel water bottle is carried in a leather other services carrier. Finally, standard issue ammo boots are worn uh, with leather anklets, which were associated with the leather 1939 pattern equipment. Now we can take a look at the basic uniform, this being battle dress serge. Uh, the insignia consists of home guard titles uh, and beneath these battalion distinctions, this being the 5th Nottinghamshire Battalion so represented by NTS-5. When not wearing the helmet, the field service cap is worn with the cap badge of the associated regiment, in this case the Sherwood Foresters. Finally, underneath the battle dress, a civilian shirt and braces are worn, and by way of completeness, underwear consists of civilian wool and socks, and as it's late in the year, long cotton drawers. So there we are, uh, quite a well-equipped member of the Home Guard, uh, by this time period, the Home Guard had got over the problems which had arisen certainly in late 1940, early 1941, where post-Dunkirk rifles had actually been taken away from the Home Guard to help re-equip the, the regular army, and there was very little equipment available for them, uh, be it weapons, be it uh, individual equipment, as seen here. Uh, but by this stage, uh, the Home Guard had their own set of equipment, as you can see, uh, being worn here. Uh, their own set of equipment, their own haversack, and military issue respirators and so on. Uh, this video was a collaborative effort uh, between me and my friends Alan and Ramsey, uh, Ramsey being the gentleman in the photographs and both he and Alan provided some of the kits shown so many thanks to them. Uh, as I always say I hope you found that interesting and until next time bye for now.